So what I think I would do in your shoes and what I hope you will do is you will, you know, I don't think there's anything about that story that isn't right. I think you're, you're reporting honestly how hard it is. And I know because I've seen it in person and everywhere else, I've seen the effect that you're having on people. And I know how important it is in keeping them out of trouble and steering them in the right direction and giving them hope. And so what I would hope is that instead of reinventing yourself again or updating yourself, that you would figure out what the efficient way of showing up in the world in that role is and I hope that's away. why we're having this conversation. I seem to be able to do this, so I can do this. And so that's what I'm doing. And I have this book well, coming out, and we'll see how that goes. But I mean, I think, you know, I know your audience, and they will, they'll accept you any way you can show up for them. And I think, you know... The key thing is to figure out how to get out of the predicament of having to go through that Herculean struggle every day. Yeah, well, it's beyond... I've been struggling with it for two years. I can't get out of it. I can't... Well, I mean, I'm out of it to some degree. I'm living at home again. I'm not in the hospital. But the reason I'm not in the hospital is because th there's nothing that can be done for me in the hospital. Like, there's no point in me going to a hospital. It will just make it worse. When I wake up in the morning, like, any sensible person would go to the emergency room and say, look, this is... There's just... This just isn't possible, but it's irrelevant because all that will happen, and I've been in like four hospitals, so I know all that happens is I'm made much worse. And so I live in 15 minute increments, fundamentally. Wow. Well, um, I, I, I hope you can detect how uh, many people are rooting for you. It's and mind boggling. It's, and it's, 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 Un, it's life preserving that fact. And I can't, I can't believe it. Even after this last London times interview, the, the amount of support that came pouring in is just it's unbelievable. I can't, I can't wrap my head around it. I don't get it. 